What is the difference between a DVR, NVR, and VMS? This is part two of a three-part series where I'm gonna explain the difference between the types of video surveillance recorders that you can purchase. I'm Carlo, I've been running Spotter Security for over 15 years, and we hate to see businesses waste money on security solutions that let them down. So last time we talked about DVRs, this time we're gonna move on to NVRs. NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. They start to become popular around 2008, 2009, and there is two types of NVRs. There's the embedded NVR, which is what you see in front of us right here, and it looks very similar to the embedded DVR that I talked about in the last video. And then there's server-based NVRs, which is basically a Windows server running a separate VMS or video management software. We'll talk about that in the next video. So similar to DVRs, um, the embedded NVR also is limited to resolution, the amount of camera inputs that you can uh, put onto this system, and it does max out. So you will have to start stacking these embedded NVRs as the system grows. The main difference is that with an NVR, you can build a video surveillance network and you can connect IP cameras to it. So what that means is that you no longer have to bring your cameras all the way to the recorder every single time as you had to do in the DVR situation. So with an NVR, you can get your IP camera, your network cable, so either you install a network cable uh, or if you already have one pre-made, uh, most of the time you're running a network cable inside of an office or through a building and it connects right to the back. Now this embedded NVR has a built-in PoE network switch in the back. So there is eight ports that I can connect uh, an IP camera to. So far, it looks pretty similar to the analog setup because we're connecting this IP camera to the back. But where it becomes uh, different and, and advantageous is that if you have a large location, and you wanted to start installing IP cameras throughout this facility, let's say we had a warehouse, let's say this camera and this network video recorder is sitting in your office and the warehouse is you know, three, 400 feet away and you wanna start installing cameras over there. What you would do is get a regular network switch. So this is a PoE network switch. You would mount it somewhere in the warehouse or whatever location you feel you're gonna have some cameras and then you mount your cameras, run your cable, and you would connect it to that network switch. Now, this network switch has to be cabled all the way back to the NVR or to another network switch that's connecting to the video surveillance network. So you'd have to get another cable run. But once you've connected the network, anytime you have to add a camera, all you have to do is run to the closest network switch. So this video surveillance network can really start to grow. The, um, the other advantage to it is, let's say you have uh, a sh uh, some, some type of outdoor location or you have a shed that you want to get a camera to. If there's power in that shed, you can actually run a, ca a camera cable to um, a wireless network switch and you can put wireless networking between the two buildings. So now, as you can see, the system really can grow and, and start to get big. Okay, so that's a very high level overview of network video recorders, NVRs, and uh, IP video surveillance networks in general. Um, so what is the benefit of buying an NVR over a DVR? Well, if you're gonna be, if it's a small business and, and you're gonna be sticking to uh, only a handful of cameras, anywhere between you know, 10 to 16 cameras and below, then you're probably not gonna find that much of a benefit buying a, an NVR over a DVR. That being said, the, the biggest advantage is the NVRs are scalable. So anywhere that's a larger location, more cameras, you're definitely gonna to wanna to be buying uh, NVR and IP cameras. Um, the one thing you do need to know about DVRs though is that the technology is not really growing. Uh, now that NVRs have come down in price and IP cameras have come down in price, DVRs will eventually become extinct. Um, so with NVRs, you're getting access to better technology and technology that's constantly advancing. You can start to take advantage of uh, really cool features like video analytics. Uh, there's a lot more brands to choose from. And, uh, and definitely, if you're looking at uh, a scalable system, you're gonna be in the NVR uh, space. Okay, so that was a brief overview of NVRs. If you wanna know more, read our blog post. The link is given below. Uh, you can visit our website, or you can give us a call and book an online design session uh, to get some more information.